after almost six months with more than 32,000 dead, 74,000 wounded, and the majority of buildings reduced to rubble, the United Nations Security Council has finally passed a motion calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, with the US abstaining after having vetoed all previous attempts. The night after, nothing had changed on the ground as airstrikes continued to rain down. Starvation is stalking the Strip. The Israeli state's refusal to allow adequate aid in has created a man-made famine and Netanyahu threatens a ground invasion of Rafa, which has holding over 1.5 million civilians. The way forward for Palestinians is through democratically organising a mass struggle, a socialist intifada, based on the interests of workers and the poor, independent of the rich elites. That's what the Socialist Party will be putting forward on Saturday's Gaza's protest in central London. We're fighting to build the potential superpower of independent working class organisation in every country, including Britain, as the force that, armed with a socialist programme, can bring a permanent end to the horror of war and national oppression. But we need your help in doing that. Check out the editorial in this week's copy of the Socialist Paper and visit our website for more information on how to get involved.